when it rains, it pours. After waiting for a long time to play test match cricket, India women play two inside eight days. Australia are in India for a test match after close to 40 years. I'm here at the Wankhede Stadium, the venue for the one-off test between India and Australia. And here's what we can look forward to. For India, it's a couple of things. Uh, who will replace Shubhash Atish is the first of them. Uh, Shubha scored a wonderful half century against England, but she took a blow on her left ring finger, which ruled her out of that test. And she wasn't seen at practice for in the lead up to the test against Australia. On the eve of the test match, both Richa and Harleen Diol were taking long fielding drills with uh, Richa and Harleen, both in fact under the lid, taking short leg or silly point catches. So will it be one of those or are we reading a bit too much into it? Because there was also Priya Punya who was present for, for, for a decent batting stint. The second point is, of course, the fitness of the fast bowlers or the bowling composition in itself because Renuka Singh and Pooja Vastrava both were terrific with the ball in the Navi Mumbai test match. They bowled lengths and lines that troubled England batters to no ends. Looks like it could be the same combination, but the pitch had a little bit of green in it on the eve of the test match, which could perhaps make, make uh, India into thinking of that third seamer. Will they go that way? Doesn't look like it. Will Rajeshwari Gaikwad keep her place? Likely, uh, Saika Ishak might not play. So, that is about India. But for Australia, it's a fresh start. Alyssa Healy is the new full-time captain. Talia Magra, her deputy. This is, of course, after Meg Lanning announced her retirement from international cricket a couple of months ago. Healy is, of course, returning from a finger injury she sustained at the start of WBBL which means she's coming here on the back of almost no cricket, but she said that she's as prepared as ever because of a lengthy uh, pre-season. Having played a test match uh, in June, the Ashes, England, uh, Australia have a settled lineup. The only question marks would be around the second full-time Seamers role, especially Seamers role. Kim Garth and Darcy Brown had taken the new ball in that test match. It, is look, it looks likely that Lauren Cheetal, the left-arm sp- uh, Seamer, might uh, be in for one of these two seamers, likely for Kim Garth. But the rest of the batting order kind of picks itself. There's a lot of spin option in Ashley Gardner, in Jess Jonathan, who said that she studied Ravindra Jadeja to ball on these surfaces. And of course, she's bat at 5-6 with the left-handed batting option. And also, Alana King. Looks like it could be a toss-up between Alana King and Georgia Verum for that leg spinner slot. But King did play the Ashes and did impress. She also had a useful partnership with the bat. So, lots to look forward to. Will India notch up their maiden test win over Australia? The next four days will tell us.